Here we are with Tina Tomazic from Pipistrel. Can you tell us a little bit about the new Panthera aircraft which is on display here at Aero 2012? Absolutely, we're presenting the Panthera for the first time. It's our first four-seater. We're entering the market of uh, general aviation certified aeroplanes with it. It's a very sleek aeroplane as you can see, very clean aerodynamic. Um, cruise speed 200 knots on a 200 horsepower engine. The prototype is powered by a conventional fuel injected IO390 by Lycoming, uh, but we are also planning the hybrid and electro versions of this same aeroplane. It's the first time in history that uh, people are given a chance to choose different uh, variants of the power plant, not only, not only different types. It's opening day here, but uh, on setup yesterday we just had hundreds of people around the aircraft. It's, it's creating so much interest. Yeah, the shape itself is really peculiar and it appeals to a lot of people so we actually had difficulties assembling the aeroplane together because there were so many bystanders. Now it's all carbon fibre construction? Yeah, the airframe is uh, composite, it's not all carbon fibre, there's elements of glass fibre and Kevlar, especially uh, near the cockpit area. The undercarriage is made of titanium and aluminum elements, but uh, you could call it an all composite aeroplane because this is what makes the structure. And it's a, a retractable undercarriage, electric or hydraulic? The undercarriage is electrically activated. There's no hydraulics on this aeroplane, it's a uh, modern all electric. And we've got a uh, ballistic powered parachute as well, I believe. Absolutely, this is as standard. We believe that uh, the technology that has matured in the light sport aeroplanes arena can be transferred to, to bigger aeroplanes as well. We've been working together with our preferred partner, GRS from the Czech Republic, to develop a special parachute which can be deployed both at high speeds and low altitudes, which is a big difference uh, in this arena. Now, most four-seat aircraft, really, they can't carry four people and fuel. Can you tell us a bit about the payload? Uh, we designed the aeroplane to be a proper four seat. This means that the amount of fuel on board does not jeopardize your payload. You can have uh, the full 1,000 nautical miles range uh, either with two seats, three seats or four seats occupied. So uh, uh, the aeroplane is really light by construction. Uh, 680 kilograms, 1200 kilograms full, um, so there's uh, a tremendous amount of payload in comparison to other products on the market. Um, stall speed and speed across the fence? Stall speed about 58 knots calculated, we will see how this goes with the test flights. There is uh, areas where we could refine that as well. Uh, we are looking at uh, 75 knots over the fence. Okay, and if you can open up and show us inside? Absolutely. So can you explain the uh, instrumentation in this aircraft and also in the uh, uh, production aircraft? Um, this prototype and the production aircraft don't really differ a lot. Um, the setup that you see is the same by architecture. You have the middle stack, communications, navigations, full IFR touchscreen avionics by Garmin, GTN 750 and 635. Then you have two screens, 10-inch uh, size, in this case by Dynon in the prototype. The certified version uses uh, Garmin avionics, 2 two times 10 inch You have the main electrical panel, landing gear activation flaps, climate control, and the backup systems. All is clean and tidy, and the instrument panel has been designed so it doesn't uh, obstruct the view from the cockpit by either of the pilot or the co-pilot. So you can, you can really enjoy the tremendous view of this aeroplane. You might have noticed that we only have one central pillar and the rest is all glass so the view is really amazing and for people in hotter climates we've also got air conditioning correct we have an all-electric air conditioner which is positioned in the back it takes 20 kilograms away from the luggage allowance but it can be removed by desire so if you're flying in not so hot environments or not so hot time of the years you can uh, actually take the box out and use the space for luggage now, a lot of four-seat aircraft in this light category really only fit two people and a dog yeah. can you um, can you give us an idea of just how much room is in the back? Are you able to come around and open the... Uh, I will do so. The... Um, the back is really roomy. This is a proper four seat, plenty of room for the legs. Um, for some people, the back may even be more comfortable than the front. Um, we can squeeze six feet people in the back easily, um, 200 pounds each, and the front can take six, in, six feet, four, six feet, five. And we've got a, a decent luggage area in the back here for yeah. some uh, overnight bags? Correct. The, the luggage door has been designed to fit the standard cabin size luggage and three bags fit inside. Not all at the same time through the door actually, but uh, one by one. And in summary, Tino, how do you expect this aircraft to be accepted into the market? It is, it is something very unique and it's 
I think, I think it will appeal to a lot of people simply because it delivers performance uh, for much less fuel costs. At 200 knots you're burning 10 gallons of fuel versus the usual 17 or 18. So it's a really tremendous difference in fuel economy. And in these times with uh, fuel prices rising, this will be a major key. Tina Tomasic from Pipistrel, thank you for taking the time this morning.